Hi Aquarius, this is Power Light Tarot. Thanks for coming to my channel here. And um, this is going to be your general for the first half of, De of January 2019. And um, please check your moon and your rising, guys. You can get your moon and rising over at uh, cafeastrology.com. If you want your natal chart, you could be checking your other videos, right? Your moon and rising videos to get a more complete picture of what's going on for you, okay? And um, thank you so much for all the subscriptions and all the likes and the comments. Uh, really appreciate you guys, okay? Don't forget to give a thumbs up here. Um, yeah, and um, the bottom of the deck, Aquarius, is the the moon and the four of cups here. And I feel like um, there are secrets in a situation here. I also feel like there's disappointment or somebody just, you know, might not be wanting wanting something here um, because of those secrets, okay? So let's get started here. And I have the Ten of Pentacles here with the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles is your current energy. The Nine of Wands is what is crossing you or challenging you. The Ace of Wands is here in the root, why it's all happening. The Nine of Cups is the recent past. And the Six of Cups is in, you know, your conscious influence or, you know, what may be on your mind right now, okay? I'm going to be going over to Vimeo, you guys, in the second half of the reading with your near future, how you're seeing yourself, uh, your environment, your hopes and fears, and most important, your outcome, okay? And um, just so you guys know, these Vimeo readings are only $8.99 to see all the extended. So you can see your moon and rising and you can view your your partner, okay, whoever you're dealing with. I feel like cross-watching is a really good thing when we have, um, you know, some of these readings that are coming out, right? You kind of want to see what's what's going on in theirs as well, whoever you're dealing with. And um, just so you guys know, um, I have a special for personals. They're $22, and I'm continuing the special uh, throughout the month of January. I had the special running for to the end of the year, but I'm going to continue that, okay? So let's get going here, you guys. Um, with your current energy as the Ten of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles is here as well with the Lovers, okay? Um, right off the bat, I just feel like there's third-party energy here, you guys. Um, sorry to say here, um, the Seven of Swords is showing up in, you know, in your extended reading, which can talk about sneaky behavior, okay? Um, now... You know, the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like right now you're in a, some of you guys are in a serious relationship right now uh, where there could be a third party here. And you may be trying to make a choice here, okay, when the Lover's card uh, shows up here. Uh, this could also be showing up because, you know, whoever you're dealing with uh, could be your soulmate. This can also be, there could be a Gemini, you know, in the mix. Or, um... You know, this can just talk about lovers, you know, if you are in a third party, you know, whoever you're dealing with, uh, you know, they're lovers with somebody, right? That's why this card may be showing up here. Now, the Nine of Wands is what's challenging you or crossing you. It's here with the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. So we have four Pentacle cards within six cards here already, uh, Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Earth sign. Or there could simply be an element of, you know, of uh, stability here, okay? You know, you could own a home with somebody or, you know, maybe you guys, you know, have combined assets or you're just, you know, making a life with somebody and the stability between you guys or the financial stability is, is an element here, okay? But I feel like what's challenging you here about this potential third party here, okay, is... This Nine of Wands, which is the Wounded Warrior, and it is somebody who's carrying a bit of baggage, you know, from the past, from, you know, something that could have just gone on recently here. Um, and the, it's kind of a protective energy, and, you know, in as much as the person is like going, oh, well, you know, what's going to happen next here? And the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior, has the bandage still on his head from a past injury, okay? Now, it's right next to the Knight of Pentacles. You could be with a Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, okay? But I feel like this is you, maybe, you know, as the Wounded Warrior, possibly. Um, you know, it could be because of an Earth sign, right? Um, but the Ace of Pentacles is here as well. So, 
Um, this can talk about, you know, a, a great level of stability. It can also talk about a new opportunity, all right, possibly for, um, you know, for a relationship with financial stability in it. I feel like what's going on here, though, is that, you know, I feel like there could be a third party here, and you are, you know, kind of watching your back here. You could be wounded, you know, from it. Um, and there is some stability involved here that is affecting you or making you really think about the situation here, okay? Now, in the root is the Ace of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Two of Wands here. All Wands, okay? So, you know, the Ace of Wands is an opportunity for a new beginning. It's either you or the other person you are dealing with who is looking for a new path, all right? I feel like, you know, you could be thinking there's a third party here and I want to get out, okay? I want something new here. I don't want to deal with this. Um, you know, when these three cards are showing up in the root, okay? You could be, you know, finding, trying to carve out a new path for yourself here, change, and, you know, with the Two of Wands, the gentleman is holding the world in his hands, um, you know, looking out at the ocean, like, what am I going to do now here with my life here? feel like, you know, you are carving out a new path for yourself to have a new beginning with the Ace of Wands, okay? This is great energy, um, you know, if this is you, this could be the other person, okay? Now, um, we have in the past the Nine of Cups is here. I feel like, you know, in the past, you know, whoever you're dealing with was your wish with the Nine of Cups here. Um, now, the Justice card is here with the Moon card. There could be a Libra that you are dealing with when Justice shows up. There could also be a Cancerian or a Pisces here, but I feel like the Moon card is here twice because there are secrets here, okay? Um, now, in the recent past, you know, there could have been a lot of balance here in the past, and, you know, you could have found out about some secrets, though, right, that have maybe, you know, affected this balance or this you know, with the Justice card, uh, it could have been, you know, there could have been like an element of just fairness or maybe you getting your justice. I think what could be happening for some of you guys um, in the past, you know, you could have got your justice in some way, though, over some secrets, maybe an apology. The Justice card is also about, you know, the truth, right? It's not just about the scales are balanced, you know, evenly. It can be about the truth, okay? There could have been a truth exposed here um, when the moon card shows up, all right? Um, now, we have the six of cups here, which is affecting you consciously, and the seven of cups is with it. So you could either be dealing with a soulmate here or the six of cups, you know, there could be somebody who is from the past that is maybe in a third party here or, you know... Yeah, it could be either one. The Six of Cups is followed up by the Seven of Cups. Um, and the Seven of Cups is, you know, I feel like what's going on here is that somebody could have other options here. It could be somebody from the past. Um, and you could be confused, though. There could be some confusion here, possibly about somebody from the past or just about your soulmate here, okay, when these cards are showing up. So I'm going over to Vimeo Aquarius, um, and we're going to be talking about, you know, what's in your future and your environment and your outcome, most important, okay? So the link is below, guys, and remember the videos are super affordable, okay? And, um, yeah, wishing you so much power and light, you guys.